Hi guys! So I wanted to speak to you today about something really important. Um, no, it's not a PSA, but um, something equally important is your skin care. So I wanted to talk about skin care and um, I noticed everyone has different preferences for how they um, clean their skin, have different skin routines, different skin regimens for um, keeping and caring about your skin. So we're coming for me today um, in my bathroom. Um, different setup, but equally cute. So yeah, just a little polka dot pattern right there. But yeah, I just love the cute little um, shower curtain. But we're not talking about the shower curtain today, but not normal to combination. Just normal to oily skin. So it's pretty normal most of the time. Um, I don't really do too much. I've been really blessed for having to not do too much and work really hard about having no acne. I've never really had um, acne problems or zits, well just here and there pimples but never like full on facial acne um, which I've never had to use proactive so I couldn't really tell you about that but skin is to making sure you drink water and water is really important. Um, I used to be addicted to coke and not the, not the drugs but the caffeinated um, carbonated soda beverage. I used to be addicted to coke and um, that was all I would drink, I guess, through high school. Um, it wasn't until college that I stopped drinking Coke, and then it, I wouldn't say it transformed my life because that's not like a miracle work or anything, but Coke and just carbonated beverages and all are just probably your first step to having problems with your skin because not only does it make you feel bloated and just a lot heavier and like sluggish, but just water overall just cleanses and purifies your whole system and really brightens up your skin um, from the inside out and just I kick the habit of drinking coke every day because I, me and my mom used to have the same problem we wouldn't we wouldn't be able to go through our days without having coke at least once or twice a day and it was getting a problem because I know that I was just getting headaches all the time if I didn't have my coke or whatever I would get a headache and so that definitely needed to change and so whenever I stopped drinking coke I just replaced it with drinking water or tea or I try you know some fruit juice you know nothing too too sugary or high in acid acidity fruit juices um, normally just stick to those three so when I stopped drinking coke just um, things started falling into place and then when you stop giving up something as bad and unhealthy as coke and other junk food then I think it's a really a step in the right direction for your life and it's a really good motivator for wanting to change your whole life and everything about you it can make you more active and you know so forth and so on so to stop rambling about that I just now uh, now all I drink is water um, I drink whole, I try to drink at least two maybe three bottles of water but that's kind of pushing it but I know one girl at work drink like she said she drank like six balls of water and I was like, I don't know how you do that because I am a fish. I, I, I try to get like a fish and just, you know, drink water and water and water like, you know, until my gills explode, but I, I'm not a fish. But, but anyway, the right factors for doing that, I think, is to make sure you have the right facial cleanser. Um, since I don't have any really facial problems, facial problems, what is that? I don't have any skin problems with, um, you know, stuff growing overnight, but um, I kind of generally just don't stick to one product. I'm, I kind of just diversify my products, try to try out new skincare, whatever's the newest on the line. I'm not really faithful to one thing, but I think I actually will be now because I just started using this Cetaphil, a little Vanna White um, setup right here, but I'm sure you guys all are familiar with Cetaphil and the magical, powerful things that this does um, for you, but it's just your daily facial cleanser, and it's for normal to oily skin. I don't know if they have it in different um, formulas, but I got the normal to oily skin, and it just removes excess oil without drying out, you know, drying out your skin and just rinses clean. So it's just kind of like a one-step thing, just removes the surface oil, makes um, everything leave skin tight and airy and it's just really gentle. Um, it's non-irritating, dermatologists recommend it, I know magazines recommend it, Marie Claire, Allure, you name it, beauty magazines all over the world will say this is one of their beauty awards for best skin care um, stuff. So. Um, this is definitely, everyone's pH is different, um, I know Neutrogena came out with, I think, this couple steps skincare, I don't know, X amount of steps for, um, 
you know, transforming your pH and making it specifically for you. So they did that and um, I feel like just the Cetaphils does a good job balancing your skin to its normal level and it restores whatever your skin feels that it's normal. That makes no sense, does it? But anyways, so make sure you wash your face every day, clean it, get rid of the makeup, um, use your makeup remover, but then also make sure that you rinse deep down. And then I also um, try to switch up by exfoliating my skin once a week, at least, maybe twice if I'm feeling especially clogged or just dirty. <laughs> that, that probably sounds really weird too. But anyway, so I kind of exfoliate with different products that have different specific purposes so you can get the full benefit of a, rate, a wide array of skincare products to show you. So the first, I think, ever, maybe second ever exfoliating thing I got was by Philosophy and it's the first thing that I've ever tried from Philosophy. I haven't tried you know, their body wash or whatever that is in a jug of bottle, bottle jug, whatever. <laughs> but I have the micro delivery peel and it's right here. Just to show you up close, it's a little two-step mini process. It came in a package because um, I wasn't too sure about the brand and I just heard really great things about philosophy for skincare in general. And what it is, it, it's a vitamin C peptide resurfacing crystal peel and it gently resurfaces the skin and replenishes the vitamin C that um, has been taken out of the skin. And vitamin C, you know, is the vitamin that brightens up your skin and just makes it a lot more youthful looking. It rejuvenate, rejuvenates it. Um, and then the second thing that you're supposed to use hand in hand with this is the lactic or salicylic acid activating gel. So you put on the little vitamin C micro resurfacing crystals and then you um, let that sit for a while and then you rub in a little bit amount of this activating gel all over your face, I mean all over the crystals so it's kind of like a little two-in-one combined factor that it can do. All the dead surface cells from your skin, it just, like I said, makes restores it to its natural balance and it really gives you a healthy glow. So that's one exfoliating thing that I recommend. A second one I got was from Walmart and it's by the brand Alba and it's a papaya enzyme kind of facial mask right here and I am in love with facial masks like it's kind of like my chocolate and wine well I like that too but it's like the chocolate and wine for your skin just facial masks really do it's really important that you use it at least once a week too not too much because you don't want to go overboard and just completely scrape off your skin or your face <laughs> But this is, I thought this was interesting because it was an ingredient that I've never really thought would do wonders for your skin and it's papaya. And it's hypoallergenic and the papaya fruit is more so Hawaiian so that was kind of what intrigued me to try this facial mask. And it says it gently loosens, dissolves skin cells and impurities, whatever, so it does the same thing for the philosophy. It's just in a different form, it's just kind of like a grilled a grill, a green gel-like um, consistency and it says, yeah, it's pH balanced. So like I was talking about, every one of these formulas has different pH for your skin. So after cleansing, you're just supposed to rub it all over your face and leave it on for five minutes. And I kind of have noticed the difference for it. I just really like the different um, kind of approach to doing facial masks with this um, papaya kind of enzyme like and just to show you what I'm talking about it's kind of like this really green and goopy I don't want it to spill just goopy green eel like um, stuff but it's really cool um, I don't know if you've ever tried a, um, Alba but it's in like Walmart's more expensive skincare section like yeah like well Walmart has like an expensive skincare stuff but yes they do they ha actually have Burt's Bees, Alba, I think Simple, and the Yes 2 brand. So those are all like the expensive.